looks like an Oreo kind of donut. I can't wait to eat this. Let's just dive right in. Mm. So good. And the fact that they're kind of melted as well makes it even better. What is up guys, it is a beautiful sunny day in Cambridge. I'm feeling like a cheat day, so let's go get some freaking food. Okay, I am back from my travels, so let me show you exactly what I have got. First things first, I have the classic Shearer's Dozen from Krispy Kreme. There looks like there's some amazing donuts in here. Then I went to good old Greg's and got I think these are caramel donuts. I hope they are. They look amazing. A bit melted because it is super hot. Then, of course, I had to get the classic English donuts, jam and custard filled because they are amazing. But lastly, look what I have found. Caramel M&Ms. I have never seen these before in the UK. We only have the peanut, the crispy and the classic M&Ms. So, caramel limited edition M&Ms. I am so hyped to try these. Hopefully these are amazing. I am the biggest M&M fan ever. So that is what I'm starting with, the donuts and the M&Ms. There's quite a lot of calories there and I'm starving. I haven't eaten a thing all day. I walked all the way to town to get these donuts in the heat. It took me like two or three hours and all I wanted to do was pick up a donut and eat it, but I haven't. So let's go freaking eat. So I was about to eat outside. I sat down and it was ridiculously hot. So I decided to come back inside but I'm thinking Krispy Kreme's first, then the Greg's Donuts, and then the classic English Donuts. So here are the Krispy Kreme Donuts. They smell amazing. I haven't had Krispy Kremes in forever. I've never tried some of these donuts, so I'm pretty excited to try them. They have got pretty hot, so they're kind of melted. First one I'm gonna try is this bad boy. Looks like an Oreo kind of donut. I can't wait to eat this. Let's just dive right in. Mm. so good. And the fact that they're kind of melted as well makes it even better. I'm not even joking, that was incredible. Next one is this bad boy. I think this is a Nutella one. Nutella one, it kind of sucks because it doesn't taste anything like Nutella, but it wasn't too bad. Next one, just a classic ring donut. It can't be a good old fashioned ring donut. Just gonna talk to IGTV quickly. Living that good life, eating some donuts. I'm gonna try this bad boy. just filming myself at IGTV but I can't remember what this one is this is the Biscoff one I think it tastes incredible next one's got to be this it looks like another Oreo donut not gonna lie that one was definitely a bit of a disappointment it didn't really taste that great however I know this one tastes amazing Let's go. That is six donuts down ready. Another six to go. Then it's time for the Greg's donuts. Next up is this bad boy. Is this an Nutella one? I don't know. But it's another stuffed one, so let's go in. This is definitely the Nutella one. 100% Nutella. This one's so much better than the other donut. I don't know what was in the other one, just like chocolate filling, I guess. It was horrible. This one, amazing. That was probably my favourite donut so far. Got another ring donut now. And I always see people say ring donuts are better than the stuffed donuts. I really don't get that. Like ring donuts are very boring. I get that the stuffed donuts are very sickly from Krispy Kreme, but they do not stand up 
to the classic custard and jam donuts in England. I don't know whether they have these in America, but these are our kind of donuts. We don't really do ring donuts, and these are the best. I could eat these all freaking day. They don't get sickly, whereas these Krispy Kreme ones are sickly as fuck. I feel sick already, and I've still got five donuts left. Wow. <laughs> I feel so sick right now. I've got four left. And I always see people eat like two packets of Krispy Kremes or three packets of Krispy Kremes. It's like 36 donuts. How? Even if they're just the original glaze, I just can't eat them. They just become so sickly. I don't know what it is. It might just be me being a little weak potato, but the sugar in these things just gets to me so badly. 20 minutes later. Okay, I've had a little bit of a rest. It's time for the next four donuts. Which one do I go for? So going for this bad boy. I have no idea what this one is, but let's give it a try. This donut has surprised me. It has a very strong strawberry flavor. I actually really like it. Next one, the chocolate ring donut. That one was all right, not the best donut. I have two left, which one is next? This one is next. Vanilla cream, yes, so much better than the chocolate one. This bad boy. Jam filled. The original. That is all the donuts gone, but I'm gonna be super controversial and say that that jam filled donut from Krispy Kreme has nothing on the classic. English jam donut that was shite. So, Krispy Kremes are done. What is next? So, next up, the caramel M&Ms. Let's see if they're any good. So, I have a dilemma. I've had about three or four now, and I can't work out. Whether I like them, the taste is just really, really weird. They have a texture of M&Ms, but they taste weird. So I'm not sure whether I like them or not. I'm gonna try the whole bag and see what I think. But they are very strange. Last one. Pleasantly surprised they were actually pretty damn good. The more I ate, the better the flavour got. And I have to say, I'll probably give it a 7 or an 8 out of 10. They are up there with the peanut and the crispy M&Ms. I can't really complain, but if you're in the UK and you want to try these, head to Pound and they're only a pound. They are limited edition, so I guarantee they won't be around for very long. But give them a try, and hopefully you won't be disappointed. But anyways, it is now time for more food. I'm gonna try these Greg donuts now. But I just love what it says on the side. They say you can't buy happiness, but you can buy donuts. How true is that? I think these are caramel flavored. I'm not 100% sure. Let's give them a taste test. They have absolutely melted everywhere. Ugh. Here's what it looks like. It is super, super melted. Definitely caramel fell. These are actually 
pretty decent. That was not a bad donut. Just super, super messy. Still got three more. I'm feeling pretty sick right now. I may have to take a rest, have some savoury food and come back to the donuts. But we will see. Time for another one. Two of the Greg's donuts down. I am feeling super sickly, so it's time for some savory food. Just got back from Audi. I have a bag full of goodies. It is time to cook. Let's see what I can make. So here is what I've got: two of these burgers, cheese and onion burgers with cheese inside as well. Then cheesy nachos because I love nachos. Wild Amy here. I also have a pizza in the oven. Yes, burger number one. Let's see if it's any good. Burger number two. Time for the nachos. Why does cheese make everything so much better? Burgers, crisps, pizza, everything with cheese. Sandwiches. It's just a sound cheese sandwiches. Everything with cheese. It's just amazing. Just why do I have to be that doesn't tolerant? Why? And yes, I know there is lacto-free cheese. It doesn't taste as good and it is actually even more expensive than normal cheese, which is ridiculous. It is pizza time, I have the classic pepperoni pizza. I can't wait to eat this, I love pizza so much. I'm craving a good old pizza. Amy, however, is watching Crappy Love Island. I'm gonna enjoy this and then hopefully demolish a couple more donuts. Delicious. Pizza is done. Have a little rest and hopefully eat some donuts. One hour later. It is now time to finish the day. It's pretty late. I think it's like 12 p.m. I'm not going to finish all the donuts I brought. All I'm going to eat to end the day is two of the donuts and a chocolate bar because that will take me to over 8,000 calories and I literally cannot eat anymore. So I have a jam donut and a custard donut. Good old fashioned English donuts. So good. This is 
proper jam. Not the shit that was in that Krispy Kreme. This is what you want from a jam donut. So freaking good. Watching the best reaction channel on YouTube, Rock React, these guys are just so sick. Time for the chocolate bar now, it's just a classic dairy milk. It's a duo bar, it's like 174 calories in this, but you can't beat a classic dairy milk chocolate bar. <laughs> Last little chunk. That is my day over. I am super full. That was a great day of eating. I know I have a shitload of donuts left, but I can't eat a single thing more. That chocolate bar has tipped me over the edge. I feel very, very sick right now. But that is over 8,000 calories destroyed. What a great, chilled out, cheat day. I'm gonna have a rest. I'll talk to you guys in the morning. So guys, it's now the next day. It is another scorching hot day in Cambridge. I am loving it, but I need to tell you my calories. They will appear on the screen here. I had over 8,200 calories, over 900 grams of carbs, with over 300 grams of sugar. I had nearly 400 grams of fat and a quite high amount of protein. I had 189 grams of protein, which isn't bad. I guess the burgers had quite a lot of protein. But you wouldn't think donuts had that much protein. But hey, not a bad day for the protein. I'm going to go outside, edit this video in the sun, try and get a tan. But this should be live on Thursday, just before the England match. I'm hoping England smash Belgium because we're on a roll. We beat Panama 6-1. So if we beat Belgium, just what a start to the World Cup that would be. Amazing. I can't wait for the game. If you think England are going to beat Belgium, please let me know down below. Or if you're watching this after the game, let me know what you thought of the game. I'm hoping it's an epic game. But anyways, guys, I'm going to end the video here. I hope you enjoyed this casual donut cheat day. If you did, please give me a thumbs up, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next one.